What's up y'all? This is your girl Tatted Up X and this is Ink Therapy. Uh, today I have the privilege of interviewing uh, Ivana Tattoo Art. Her Instagram is at Ivana Tattoo Art. Uh, based in LA, correct? Correct. Okay, based in LA. Um, but these days traveling all over the country. All across the United States. Yeah, yes. yeah. Since I cannot travel everywhere else. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Uh, traveling in, in the safest places that you mm -hmm. can during this time. Yeah, pretty much. For sure, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, so we're currently in Atlanta at Atlanta Inc. in Grant Park. Um, shout out to Atlanta Inc. for allowing us uh, to have this space uh, to do the interview. Um, Ivana, we're just going to hop right into it. Uh, tell us a little bit more about your tattoo journey. How long have you been tattooing? What got you started? Mm -hmm. um, what, what, what brought you to where you are today? I'm tattooing for over 22 years. Okay. And um, basically, I started completely, it was co coincident. Nice. I used to draw since I was a kid. I used to do graffiti later on. So everybody knew pretty much that I'm, or I, even I knew that I'm an artist. Mm. And I always saw myself like that or doing this kind of stuff, but it would never occur to me like tattooing will be exactly my journey. Right. So when I was, I was finishing school, I used to study business and financing. Mm. And right when I was finishing school, my mom's friend, she asked me, she's like, do you want to try how to tattoo? I was like, sure. So she got me some machine. It wasn't even for tattoos, actually. It was for permanent cosmetics with the, only with one oil. Okay. I could do like a little stuff there. So I kind of like told myself, that's how it started. I started to tattoo my brother, my friends, family, and it, it, it was just going from there. Love it. I loved it straight away. So the, the second I touched the skin with the needle, I already knew. I'm like, this is exactly wow. what I'm doing. So I was just, literally, I was obsessed. So I was like living, breathing, <laughs> tattooing. I just wanted to tattoo all the time because I wanted to become the best version of myself. I love that. So this was, uh, this was how it started. And like I said, I'm a self-taught artist. Mm -hmm. Uh, later on, after I, it took me about ten years to develop my own style, mm -hmm. which if you if you like, I can talk about my style a little bit. For sure. So I developed my own style, and I think it was combination of all of my, I would say, experiences, travels all around the world. Mm -hmm. So I used to live in a few different parts. Like I was living in Australia, I was living in New Zealand, I don't know, Pacific, Caribbean, South America, and all of these kind of journeys. Mm -hmm. I think because I I learned a few different styles. It kind of, uh, I think, kind of like surfaced and something came out of me. Okay. And I started to be attracted to color because for the first about seven or eight years of my career, I was doing only black tattoos. Wow. And I, I was only using literally three liner and then later on I, I, I did 14 round okay. because I didn't know any better. Okay. I used to do my own needles. I used to put the machines together and everything. Wow. So I was literally, I do everything from the scratch. Right. So the, the beautiful part about this, because I didn't have any kind of like a navigation, I didn't have any restrictions, I didn't know how to do certain things, I was just going for it, right. completely like restless, you right. know? Right. So after some time I, I created this, I, was, I would say original and unique style, mm -hmm. which is highly recognizable. Mm -hmm. and. The best part about this is that nobody can copy it. Definitely. I cannot actually reproduce tattoo after myself. Mm. So that's how kind of intrigue it is. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, do you have a, a name for your style or is it just... I call it funky color. Okay. But what I mean by that, funky, it's like a playful. You yes, know? It's a It's a color. mix of a few different things together. Like I mix graphic design, okay. uh, illustrations, street art, mm -hmm. graffiti little bit of mm -hmm. cartoon, realism, mm -hmm. everything is kind of mixed together, mm -hmm. but there is the elements I'm putting there are the graphic elements, basically nothing really overpower each other. So okay. everything is in like a perfect balance. I call it also organized chaos. Nice. So when, when you look at it kind of, it's like, <laughs> like how, but it completely that. makes sense. Like it doesn't and it does, okay. just because it's like in the perfect harmony. Mm -hmm. So as funky color, as this organized chaos was, was developing right over mm -hmm. the, the course of uh, these 22 years. Tell me about a little bit more about you know your experiences with tattooing your brother, mm -hmm. you know tattooing other family members early in your career when you first started with 
was it automatically great work? Like, it was, was it just, did it come naturally to you? Is it something that you feel like a skill you had to work on um, over time? No, it's like every, every, everything, you, what you basically, what you do. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do have a natural talent and I recognize it after some time. For sure. So it was kind of, I just pick it up on it very quickly, even mm -hmm. though I didn't know what I'm doing, but it was just kind of like uh, going smoothly, I would say. Yes. But of course the beginnings were rough, like I didn't even use gloves, like I said, I didn't mm -hmm. know what kind of needles I can use, I only worked with two needles for the first seven years. Mm -hmm. I, my machine wasn't good enough, it was for permanent cosmetics. Mm -hmm. Later on, of course, I changed it for a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So I always, of course, I always raised the bar or I always challenged myself and how it, how actually what was happening, mm -hmm. which I was like saying before, I was breeding and limited tattooing, so all the time I just wanted to tattoo because you need to put that work, you know, the more you practice, the better you become. Even if you, if you, you can learn anything, this is like my thing, right. you know, you can learn anything you want, just you need to put that effort into it and just keep practicing, keep practicing. Mm -hmm. And then what helps is the natural talent. So mm -hmm. the practice combination of your natural talent, that's how you become the best. A magical combination. Yes, but you have to do that, like it's like you cannot slack on something, it's not happening. Like mm -hmm. if you want to be extraordinary, mm -hmm. you have to do this, you know? Mm -hmm. You have to be literally obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. But it's a healthy obsession in my opinion. It's, For sure. You know, that's, For sure. It got me somewhere. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, did you find yourself reaching out to um, a lot of tattoo artists, you know, d during this time mm -hmm. when you were, you know, teaching yourself, or did you feel like those people weren't as accessible? Um, tell me a little bit more about the support that you uh, sought after you mm -hmm. know, while you were learning. So wh when I was learning in the beginning, there wasn't even much tattoo shops in Slovakia. In the whole country was two tattoo shops. Wow. And I was living in the, in the kind of middle of nowhere. Okay. I, I grew up in little villages, maybe 200 people in there. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know. Mm -hmm. But when, I, when you kind of want to ask for the help, nobody gives you. I even went to Czech Republic, which is like a different country oh, completely. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I was seeking help there. But nobody really wanted to teach information. It was like so, some sort of like a sacred, I don't know, like, you know, because there wasn't many tattoo artists, so they really kind of... Right, because you're a risk, right? No, you're exactly. You're a risk for taking their clients. Mm -hmm. Yes, even though, like I said, like, <laughs> come on, I just like pick up the machine. Exactly. Like, I didn't even know like what I'm doing. And they were mm -hmm. tattooing for many years already, but not too many people. And after some time, oh. I remember one guy, he let me watch him, mm. you know, so he's like, okay, you can, you can come because I was so attracted. I always go to his studio. Mm -hmm. Like I want to see how he, how he does it. Right. And then I told him, like, listen, like I'm learning tattooing, like, can I watch you? So he was kind enough. He was really nice. He was kind enough to kind of like, okay, you can watch me. Okay. And I still didn't know too much. He didn't teach me anything about needles, mm -hmm. but at least he showed me like how to do the lines, mm -hmm. you know, or how to little bit like set up the tattoo machine. Mm -hmm. So there was a little bit of help, mm -hmm. b which helped me that time tremendously because at least like I know how, what is the depth or how quick I should go or something mm -hmm. like just mm -hmm. a little navigation, mm -hmm. you know? And then again, practice, practice, practice. And after some time, I started to, of course, study other people's work because I was mind blown. I'm like, how they do all of these large colors? Mm -hmm. I didn't know the ma there is a Magnum's needles. You uh. know? And I, I even asked my friend who is friend, like we used to like hang out together. Right. He had tattoos and also like a huge tiger with the color. And I'm like, listen, like, how, how do they, they do, do this? That? <laughs> yes, and I'm like, because I only have a, like a three liner, like it's almost impossible to, to fill up such a huge space and it's so nice and smooth, you know? Mm -hmm. So then after some time he said, like, it's a Magnus, it's like a different needles, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, oh. And I was like, okay, but still not, you know, he was still so secretive about it. Yeah. He can tell me more or how to do it or he how it looks or something. Definitely. I'm like, okay, Magnum. So I have like, he could have of... showed you, could have given mm -hmm. you one. <laughs> exactly. So again, it was, everything was always like, so, you know, yeah. so limited. So after some time I was in Slovakia, I, bought, I think I was living there for one or two years. That was my early stages and then I left to Australia. Mm -hmm. So when I came to Australia, I went to work to tattoo studio. So that was different because before I was on my own mm -hmm. and now I can see other people work. Right. So again, I pick up something, you know, like obviously I see these needles, mm -hmm. then I learn how to do these needles, mm -hmm. magnums I'm talking about, or different groupings of, mm -hmm. you know, single needle, three liners or whatever. And then 
I started what helped me the most was I started to go for the tattoo shows. Okay. So again, you know, I can see now I have all of the artists from the yeah. world. And I was like a sponge, literally. Yeah. I was traveling everywhere, every tattoo convention was there, out there, I wanted to go there. Right. You're so. finally seeing the, the mm -hmm. community exactly. vibe of, the, of mm -hmm. the tattoo industry, right? Because of before it seemed like you were kind of being isolated and saying, Completely. figure it out by yourself, own, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. but, but there's a whole community and industry so, that's there to support you and yeah. help you grow. That, that was huge. Yeah. That's definitely, like I said, I was like a sponge. And then I came, I asked questions. I remember uh, the one of the biggest shows I saw it was in Melbourne and Joe Capobianco was there. Okay. And he was doing this colorful work and I was, that time I was doing kind of cartoony or Maybe. still colors, I already was doing colors. Mm -hmm. So I was tattooing for at least seven years, I remember. And I used two needles and it was exactly three liner and 14 round. But the 14 round, I, I mastered it so well that I can do large, beautiful shading and mixing colors with that. Wow. Now I can't even do it because I'm not using it anymore. Right. But because I didn't know any better, it was like so. And he actually mm -hmm. stopped, stopped the guy I was tattooing. He's like, who did your tattoo? Oh. And he's like, Ivana. <laughs> and he's like, it's really, really beautiful. And then he saw me, like I came mm -hmm. to his booth and he was asking me, he's like, what needles did you use? And I'm like, uh, three liner and 14, 14 rounds. And he's like, really? No way. <laughs> and he's like, no. And I'm like, yes, I did. Yeah. And he's like, that's all what I know. Mm -hmm. and he's like, how long did it take you? And I'm like, 10 hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was small, that right. like this, but you know, it's a small needles. And he's like, it's really beautiful because it's like, I, sp I noticed it straight away. And that was already the time when I started to kind of developing my own style. Right. And the tattoo was very different. Like you cannot see it at convention like that, you know? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, that was nice. And then I, then I, I watched him and I asked him about the magnums and everything. Mm -hmm. So he was kind of like, I remember, I can, I never forget that because I remember I was kind of really inspired. I came from that convention and I started experiment like crazy. Mm -hmm. I book, I ordered the books. Mm -hmm. So another book, which was really good was from, Joshua Carlton. Okay. I cannot remember the name of it though. It was literally in the binder. Oh. But he was kind of just like talking about like setting a machine, how to do like soft shading, that mm -hmm. kind of shading or whatever. So again, that helped me. So I tried to educate myself as much as possible. For sure. But asking questions all the time. Edit to conventions especially. Yeah. Yeah. And then experiment on, you know, on my clients. Yeah. I love your mention of, of conventions. I, um, Conventions is uh, one of my favorite things to advocate for mm -hmm. in the tattoo industry. I think um, not only does it help with um, publicity and, and getting mm -hmm. your name out there more, but it also helps with the education mm -hmm. side. Um, there's a lot of things that you can learn from simply, you know, watching other artists, asking questions. Um, yes, but honestly, if you see it now, I'm not sure where I would do it. Really? Maybe to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me. Because, because, because the, the time has changed so much. When I compare that 20 years ago to now, you have so much free education everywhere. Mm -hmm. You have webinars, you have seminars, you can attend this class, you can attend, I don't know, everything for free on YouTube. You can mm -hmm. see everything on the YouTube, in the mm -hmm. TV. Like, it has changed dramatically, in my opinion. Okay. So I find it almost like unnecessary even to go it's depending what you are looking for mm -hmm. that's it i have i have my brand which is lifestyle brand i'm okay. not just a tattooist anymore right so for this reason also it's absolutely like uh for me it's unnecessary for to sure. do this anymore you for know sure. so that's why i made decision because i kind of know how my brain should look like yeah or what is it so i have kind of like clear direction yes in that, you know and so I like i said it depends depends what you're doing you know yes like, for sure, definitely depends on what you're doing. I think that it, what you said is is very important for viewers to hear about being clear on what you want your brand to look like. Absolutely, um, because when you're not clear, you leave it up to you no, know you everyone like else, the, yeah, you, and you just end up, yeah, you, right. You will be all over the place, but if you don't have even direction, like where are you going? Exactly, you know. Did you always have that clear vision of what you wanted your brand to look like? specifically or was that something that you kind of stumbled upon something that you developed over a course of a few years is it something you're still developing mm -hmm. um, it's something I'm still developing for okay. sure and it's always kind of changing mm -hmm. I, I know my kind of like vision how how I see myself as an artist or my brand even at tattoo art right I have that you know mm -hmm. but at the same time sometimes it's like I'm adding things to it or, or sometimes it's like you know it's it's always I would say it's always in the progress. It's always okay. always developing. Definitely. You know, Definitely. for sure. Yes, yeah. I cannot say like ten years ago I had some vision and now it's exactly like that. That's mm -hmm. not true because like I said I have to adjust also to the new things or what's coming. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but overall definitely I want to have uh, even a tattoo art is a lifestyle brand. Yeah, it's a luxury brand for sure. And we have now actually the new website. Yeah. 
where, where uh, ITA lifestyle, because art comes in many forms, ITA, so mm, art comes in many forms. Love it. And it covers now uh, permanent cosmetics. We have fibroblast. Yes. Uh, we have also, uh, uh, we teach spiritual classes also, mm -hmm. but it's kind of... Wonderful. Or, I, I would say spiritual, but it's all about healing also, mm -hmm. because that's art too, you know. So, you know, when clients come and basically you're giving them therapy and mm -hmm. sometimes they just want to come to the studio and talk to us for hours even without procedures, but it's right. our time. So Definitely. we kind of doing also this kind of Love it. Uh, classes and also academy, mm -hmm. everything kind of divides from the A. Mm -hmm. So it's alliances, academy, you know, and all of this stuff. Love to hear it. Yes, so we have also academy where we teach. So this is IT, even a tattoo art lifestyle. It's, yeah. it's basically a few different things together because I, I'm not just a tattoo artist. Right. I'm also uh, doing uh, it, right now, I'm also doing interview with other people for mm -hmm. my YouTube channel, for even sure. a tattoo art. Mm -hmm. But basically, why, why I'm mentioning it also because it has some sort of intention. Definitely. And it's to help people, mm -hmm. to give them some sort of keys, mm -hmm. give them something uh, they can basically improve their life, mm -hmm. quality of their life. Mm -hmm. And I'm teaching about positive mindset, mm -hmm. about, um, let's say, uh, we talk about like, gay relationships, mm -hmm. we talk about traumas, mm -hmm. we talk about, or I talk about, sometimes we do it together with Veronica, with my wife, mm -hmm. sometimes for my Slovakian and Czech market I do it on my own, mm -hmm. so it's a few different topics we are covering and mm -hmm. I find great joy in it. Yeah. And another thing is also I have my fashion brand, mm -hmm. ITA Los Angeles, Definitely. again everything is ITA, Definitely. even at the tour, so that, are you that's that's designing again. the clothes? Yes, of course, I'm, I'm having my yes, uh, clothes uh, and kind of uh, apparel, Merchandise, okay. also some art. I released two books, mm -hmm. so I have lots of different stuff there. Super so, awesome. so you see, this is everything is part of the brand. So I'm not just a twist, and I don't want to be just a twist because right. there is infinite possibilities. For sure, you know. Hey, y'all! Head to ITA Los Angeles now to check out Ivana's tattoo luxury brand. All these pieces reflect some of her fans' favorite tattoos, depicted in premium prints, hats, t-shirts, sweatshirts, and more. The brand stands for individuality, creativity, and celebrating the spirit of those who aren't afraid to stand out. You know, your art needs to be everywhere, so. For sure. Mm -hmm. Major, major. So congratulations <laughs> on all you. of that. Um, definitely, we'll, we'll be uh, keeping in touch and want to know updates on that. Um, mm -hmm. I, I love your mention of the healing um, mm -hmm. aspect mm -hmm. of the art. Um, the name of, of this podcast is Ink Therapy. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And that was very um, intentional on my part. Uh, I believe that um, tattooing is a very therapeutic experience. And um, sure. and I also think that just even simply having conversation about it and, and sharing that, um, viewers being able to identify with, you know, the things that, that we're talking about um, creates a, a very um, unique space of healing. Mm -hmm. um, so I absolutely love that. Um, I do want to shift a little bit into talking more about the healing aspect of tattooing specifically. Mm -hmm. um, what What is your view on that? Do you feel like, have you ever had an experience where um, it was either like a very healing or therapeutic situation um, for you getting tattooed or providing a tattoo? Um, in what ways have you seen mm -hmm. tattooing be therapeutic? So for me, it's literally, I can say in 100% of the cases, mm -hmm. all of my clients, 100% of the cases, and for multiple reasons. So sometimes, literally, I can pick up on the people's energy. When I'm tattooing somebody, it's, it's not that I'm giving you just beautiful piece of art, mm -hmm. but it's already healing because I'm, I'm talking to you, and like I said, like, I pick up on the energy straight away. So if somebody sure. is sad, I, I be well talk, and then sure. clients tell me everything, you know? <laughs> Literally. It is but, a therapy but chair. But I like it. You know, some, some actually tattooists, they don't like it or some people don't like it, but I like it because mm -hmm. I feel I'm not just giving you tattoo. It's right. like I'm giving you something healing, mm -hmm. you know? It's a I, transformative I'm, experience. No, absolutely. Like, yeah. abso absolutely. Mm -hmm. like I am giving you this kind of positive energy and yes. it's healing and everything. So my outlook on that is actually I love it. That's why also I love what I do yeah. because it's, like I said, it's not just a piece of art I'm giving you. Sure. It's, it's everything included with that. You know, it's that exchange of the energy. Sure. And um, many clients, they do it for the beauty reasons, obviously, mm -hmm. which is great, you know, because 
they kind of want to be different than anybody else. Sure. They want to kind of like show like, okay, this is my personality. Mm-hmm. Again, it can give them self-confidence. Mm-hmm. That's already healing trade, you know? Yeah. So, some of them have, I did lately, I was covering scars. Wow. So my client, she has really bad scars and she was literally like, I finished it, I cover it. You cannot see it now. And she was crying. She's like, oh my God, like I was like a Frankenstein before mm-hmm. and now I had this beautiful piece of art again. So wow. she was crying and she's like, thank you so much. And she's, she was so grateful. So again, healing yeah. or maybe trauma, like somebody, you know, there are cutters, For people sure. cut themselves. Again, you can put their piece of beautiful art. For sure. In that case, it's kind of covered. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't really remind them of, of that crazy it reminds them of how they overcame it exactly how they overcame it and they look beautiful piece of art so it's completely different mindset or somebody dies you know so people get tattoos in the memory of their Mm -hmm. loved ones Mm -hmm. which is healing too you know so they Mm -hmm. can have like um i would say like even closure Mm -hmm. yes so like i said it's a it's a lot of lots of different ways but this is also why i love what i do for sure absolutely it doesn't bother me like client can tell me every, everything and i'm ready for it yeah. and i want to make sure i only take a one client a day okay and it's also for this reason right because you know? it's a lot to, to take yes in. because i want to give you my 110 mm. percent you know mm-hmm. I, I will give you everything when you come for to sure. get the tattoo done from me the best i can do and i'm always like this so mm-hmm. only one client a day you have my full attention you have you have me all pretty mm-hmm. much, mm-hmm. you know. And the the work you're doing is it is it always custom work or is it um, something that you you know have had um, time to work on yourself? Do you have like a a book of things you want to tattoo on people? Or are you mm-hmm. only doing what people um, I guess concepts that your clients talk with you about to develop? Well, I I require literally one or two words. Okay. What do you want to get from me? Wow. So you say I want to get the flower. What flower? Rose. Done. Mm. Leave the rest up to me. Okay. So I, need, I, I have really nice clients, I must say, clients, but I really, really love open-minded people. Yes. I require artistic freedom, yes. but I'm very clear about it. I require artistic freedom. Mm-hmm. Many times I even choose the size. I ch- chose the placement or whatever. Okay. So people just, uh, this is kind of how I establish my appointments. Sure. You know, this is how I work. Take it or leave it. For sure. Because when I don't have any limitations, I, yeah. I can guarantee you I will do it like 100 hundred times better definitely you know definitely. of course i work with the clients so i'm not just like whatever like, of course there is some you know some clients they cannot really pull out tattoo on the neck or on yes. the face or something <laughs> so of course there is always some sort of agreement of course but i i do have artistic freedom i Wonderful. require it but Wonderful. that's all what i need not Wonderful. more like what for like i'm your tattoo artist and you know what kind of art i do right so just leave it trust up to me. you absolutely right. for sure mm-hmm. for sure um i want to i want to take a second to uh <laughs> Also talk about another major aspect of, of this lifestyle brand that, that we keep discussing mm-hmm. is um, the fact that you are a celebrity tattoo artist. Mm-hmm. Um, you've tattooed people like uh, Rich the Kid, Quavo, Lil Wayne, Lil Twist, Chris Brown. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> major, right? This is a, these are major accomplishments. Um, and I'm wondering, um, you know, how you got to a place where... Um, number one, you were confident enough to, mm-hmm. you know, do things that are going to be so publicly seen, mm-hmm. right? Because not all, of, when we think about it, you know, not not every tattoo artist is expecting for their work to be seen, you know, around the world. Mm-hmm. Your work has been seen around the world, right? Mm-hmm. Um, how how did you get to that place, and what and what has that been like? That experience of of growing into a celebrity tattoo artist. Uh, it is something I always wanted to do. Mm. You know. Uh, firstly, uh, of course, I want to meet my favorite musicians or right. favorite athletes or whoever, you right. know. Right. So, yes, absolutely. I, I had my personal reasons. Yeah. Then secondly, of course, I want the high exposure. Yes. I want the whole world to know me. Absolutely, mm-hmm. you know, because I want to know, I want the people to know what I'm doing. Yeah. Be- because I know what I'm doing, it's coming from my heart. It's, mm-hmm. it's a beautiful intention. Mm-hmm. And we spoke about healing and everything, sure. plus beautiful piece of art. Mm-hmm. So, yes, I want to know the... I want people to know me like all around the world. Yeah, you know, you have the perfect combination of uh, humility and and also knowing your worth. Mm-hmm. I I really um, that's something that has really uh, you know got me kind of like in awe right now. Like I love Thank how you. you speak very uh, confidently um, of the things that um, 
you know and you do well and you're very sure and certain of that Mm -hmm. um but then at the same time um there's this foundation and air of humility underneath in the way that you care um you know for your client so Mm -hmm. i just want to acknowledge that thank you not to interrupt (laughs) you but i I definitely think that's worth acknowledging but Um, i I, i'm i learned that mm -hmm, you know because mm -hmm. there there is absolutely many people or many young artists or Mm -hmm. even any kind of artist it doesn't matter and especially Mm -hmm. the artist right it's kind of like you, you don't even want to take money for it because it's your hobby. But right. you have to, you right. know? So you need to know your worth. Mm-hmm. You need to establish that. And when I think about it, all of that years mm-hmm. of experiences, everything mm-hmm. what I put in the tattoo industry, mm-hmm. I just mentioned a few things. I want almost everywhere all around the world the first places in mm-hmm. all categories what exist. Yes. Okay? But this is not just that. Right. I'm like the first and the only female in the world who certified as contem- for contemporary fine art of tattooing. Okay. So I'm a trailblazer. Wow. You know, you know the giraffe? Yes. The giraffe edit? Mm-hmm. Okay, so giraffe is the piece when these art critics from all around the world in 2018, mm-hmm. they were looking, it was like, hang on, why the tattoo art is not considered as, as a fine art? Right. Because everything else is, so how come not tattooing? So right. the art critics from all around the world, they gathered together. Wow. And they were looking, they were different obviously like a, a few different how, how to say uh, requirements yes yes and i was the only girl who, who met all of these requirements oh and what was it they saw this piece of giraffe yes. and they're like oh my god this is exactly Phenomenal. what we are this is exactly, exactly what we are looking for mm-hmm. so this That's giraffe absolutely it is you know again mm-hmm. another statement piece mm-hmm. but i have many of mm-hmm. like this mm-hmm. uh, even personally it's one of my biggest accomplishments mm-hmm. if not probably the biggest to be honest mm-hmm. because this happened the first time in the in the humanity Right. The first time in the history of the world, right. this happened, you know? Yeah. So it I'm, talks about your certifications and your trailblazing yes. in that way. It's just so many angles. It's so many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have really great career. You are saying. doing the damn thing. But this one is, of course, I'm extra proud of this one. And yes. honestly, it didn't even hit me until probably like a one year later right. what happened, right. you know? I was always, since I started to tattoo, I was always wondering, I'm like, how come tattooing is not considered as a fine art? Right. Or why they don't take it so seriously? It's kind mm-hmm. of like everybody's treating it like a trash. Mm-hmm. And I already, when I started to tattoo, I already, knew kind of mm-hmm. like this is not happening like I'm going to tattoo completely right. different you know I just yeah. kind of knew it yeah very clear on your standards mm-hmm. yes because mm-hmm. because I am an artist and I know how I treated tattooing for mm-hmm. me it was art like a really high level mm-hmm. of art mm-hmm. everything what comes with it mm-hmm. so how come it's treated like a trash mm-hmm. so I always have it in my head mm-hmm. and then finally in 2018 these art critics actually talk about it I'm like mm-hmm. hang on like let's look at this mm-hmm. And that's when the pretty much the history happened. Definitely. So there is many things what I did for the tattoo industry, mm-hmm. you know, uh, plus I'm teaching, plus all of the hard works and experiences, mm-hmm. all of the freaking jet lags, all, right. of, all of the nights I didn't sleep and busted my ass off, yeah. all of the double shifts I did Definitely. anytime, you know. So all of this made me realize I am worth it. I, I am worth to to have a celebrity clientele. Mm-hmm. I am worth to charge this much mm-hmm. amount of money. Definitely. So this is something um, which I kind of have enough respect for myself mm-hmm. and loving myself enough to yeah. to be this way. Yeah, you that's know? what it's about, truly. Mm-hmm. Uh, loving yourself, choosing yourself. Um, definitely, uh, is that's what it's all about. Um, so, you know, you said that you want to be known around the world. Mm-hmm. Um, I already think you are known around the world, <laughs> um, but more so around the world. And not, um, not only for tattoos. So mm, that's why exactly you know, not only for tattooing. Exactly. I want to know like if the somebody fashion, said, everything, the, yeah, the classes, <laughs> definitely. Exactly. It's everything. Um, it's not just my tat- tattoos. It's even a tattoo art brand. Mm-hmm. And when somebody hears that, I want people to know it's a luxury brand. Mm-hmm. It's it's a very unique and original mm-hmm. brand. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's kind of like you. You can ha- you can have some sort of expectations of me, sure. or when you book me as you tattoo sure. artist, mm-hmm. there is a certain probably things you can expect from Definitely. me, and I'm really consistent and solid. Definitely. Actually, I I feel that I'm always just like pushing the bar a little bit up, you Love know, it. always. Yeah. I'm I'm not like stagnant or anything. It's always room for improvement, and this is also the thing I'm tattooing for so many years. Mm-hmm. I'm still learning, so I don't understand how somebody can tattoo for three years or five and they they think that the, like they're the shit. Right. You know, it's like. <laughs> Like, they've, they've made it. <laughs> they made it or something. Or no. just because you tattoo one celebrity, you think you made it. Right. Listen, tattooing celebrities is measurement of nothing. Of course. You know, it is just, wow. a, beauty, it is just a beautiful bonus of 
kind of like whatever I do, it's a beautiful bonus and beautiful for me Definitely. to, like I said, to meet my favorite mm -hmm. musicians mm -hmm. in that sense. Mm -hmm. So it's just plus, mm -hmm. but it's not measurement of anything. Mm -hmm. Because honestly, what I'm tattooing on the celebrities, of course I do some beautiful piece of art, you know, right. but majority is just like, let's say, lettering or something mm -hmm. simple. So it doesn't really showcase mm -hmm. my work. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What inspires you um, around this luxury lifestyle brand? What are the things that in inspire you to continue to create and grow? Life itself. Mm -hmm. I love my life. I love my life. Yeah. And everything in it, even when I wake up in the morning or something, I'm already like pumped. I'm like, I cannot even wait or I cannot even wait for the next day mm -hmm. or what's going to come, you know? Mm -hmm. So life itself for me is the, hu the biggest and the huge inspiration. For sure. And that's already, I can even like start and stop right there because everything mm -hmm. else is again, of course, everything inspires me. You know, mm -hmm. I call it, you can call it God, everything around me. Nature. Love it. Traveling. Uh, I, I love beauty, you mm -hmm. know? I'm, I'm a really visual person. Mm -hmm. I need to be surrounded with beauty. I need to look at the beauty. I, I need to have this to feed my brain, my soul. I need to have this. So for me, this is inspiration. Sure. Beautiful relationships. Mm -hmm. Basically, I have really clean and healthy lifestyle. Love it. Uh, in, in every way, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And for me, it works this mm -hmm. way. I love that. Mm -hmm. Tell and me a little bit more about the clean and healthy lifestyle. Okay, so clean, clean and healthy lifestyle life. is I am committed to myself. Mm -hmm. Basically, like... Um, I, okay, so I don't party. Mm -hmm. There was all of my friends partying yeah. when, when they were younger. Yeah. I stayed home Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I was working mm -hmm. because my goal is so big and my vision is, is so huge. Yeah. You know, time. I don't even want to go because you know what? <laughs> what, what I want is more important than yeah. to go out and party every Friday wow. or something, you know? It's really like, and I think if you have such a, if you, if you are so like passionate about something, yes. what you do, you know? <clears throat> or if you're so passionate about your goal, about your brand, mm -hmm. nothing is so important. Mm -hmm. Nothing. For me, nothing was more important than that because it's, it's me. It's, it's what makes me me, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? For sure. Yes. And then it was, you know, so this is for me clean and healthy lifestyle. The food also, mm -hmm. how I feel my brain also. Mm -hmm. I don't pay attention to gossip. I don't mm -hmm. watch news. I don't, uh, I don't pay attention to whatever catastrophe is happening. Right. And... Maybe you can call it sometimes it's kind of like I'm like, you know, Naive. ignorant or, yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I'm choosing because it works for me. I like beautiful things. Exactly. And that's kind of vibration I want mm -hmm. to be, you for know. Sure. So th this is what I call healthy, you know. The people around me. Mm -hmm. I have a I have beautiful relationship with my for wife, sure. with Veronica. So Definitely. that's absolutely huge extra, yeah. you know. All of my friendships are super clean. I don't have too many friends. Mm. But the friends I have, they would die for me, you yes. know. So it has to be... Literally, your inside and outside, outside world. The stuff I put into myself, but it comes to my mind or, you know, what I'm putting into my body. I don't mm -hmm. take drugs, like I said, and all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I just like a very healthy lifestyle. That works for me the best. I like to be super sharp in my brain. Okay. I don't need to have any influences to kind of like, to maybe something else will come out of me. Like, mm -hmm. I don't need that. I mm -hmm. feel great, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I want to have a really fresh fresh uh, mind, I would say. I love it. Mm -hmm. love it. So yeah. th this is the healthy lifestyle mm -hmm. for me, you know? Yeah. That's great <laughs> to hear. Um, I'm interested in uh, knowing more about um, how your healthy lifestyle plays a, a daily role in into the work you do. So um, do you have rituals in the morning that you do in order to mm -hmm. prepare, um, you know, for your day and for your clients? I want to say, I will answer this question. I yeah. want to say one more thing. Sure. You can see my tattoos. When you look at my work, mm -hmm. this is another thing, okay? When you look at my work, it's a, refle it's a reflection of me. Mm. It's a super colorful, it's playful, it's whimsical. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, you look at it and you smile, yeah. you know? Yeah. And, and this is because, because Most you know definitely. what? Yes, because <laughs> I, feel, I feel positive. I feel like a kid myself. Right. You know, like it's always kind of like playful or something. Yeah. And it really reflects on the work. Yeah. So even if there is some sort of like, I don't know, you want to tattoo some negative looking or some horror looking something right but when you look at it in my style it's still different it still mm -hmm. has kind of like a positive vibe mm -hmm. you know doesn't change your perspective so all of my work is you know my work yeah it's super positive like you Definitely. look at it and you like smile or you think like oh that's cute or mm -hmm. whatever but always makes you feel good Definitely. you know so this is also a reflection of that positivity and the positive lifestyle you Love know but now to answer your question mm -hmm. Can you please repeat it again? Sure. Um, I'm interested in knowing more about how that healthy lifestyle and healthy mm -hmm. practices we've been talking about um, play 
into you preparing for tattooing your clients oh, each yes. day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So first we start in my mind. Okay. You know, I prepare the day before, mm -hmm. so I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh, Actually, a whole my day. Not mm -hmm. not in, whether I'm tattooing or not tattooing, I'm preparing always day before mm -hmm. because I don't want to waste time, so I know what I'm doing, you know. For sure. And I prepare when I wake up in the morning or about my ritual. Uh, I usually just stay with my eyes closed. Yeah. And I vis have visualization. Okay. I'm grateful, you know. I'm grateful. Firstly, I woke up in the morning. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. Literally, I'm so happy. I'm like, oh my god, I have another day. Mm -hmm. And I always expecting great news, and they are coming, you know. Yes. So. Sometimes it's maybe, you would call it bad habit, but I, I really cannot wait to mm -hmm. take my phone and look at my phone because I always have a great news. Always. Yeah. So for well, me, it's kind of like, it's always addictive, you know? <laughs> you know? So I have a great news and then mm -hmm. later on we have coffee, we manifest with Veronica almost okay. every day, you know? Mm -hmm. So we write things, usually we do about one or two pages, mm -hmm. the things what we want to attract into our life. Wow. Because firstly, you know, you see it, then you write it down, you think about it a little bit more, so you, you attract, you accumulate already Definitely. that energy because you spend more time on it. Mm. And the thing is also when you, when you do it with your partner, let's say, mm -hmm. for me it's not like double faster, mm -hmm. but it's like 100 times faster because sure. the energy is just so great. So manifesting, mm -hmm. and when it comes to preparation, this is just for me what I'm doing for myself. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, I have to be mentally, right. I have to be mentally great. Mm -hmm. I have to feel good, you know? Mm -hmm. So inside I have to feel good. Mm -hmm. And this is this is my first thing. If I have a time, go for a walk mm -hmm. for maybe one and a half hours. Mm -hmm. I like that because I want to be in the nature, you mm -hmm. know? I want to have all of this beautiful energy. I want to have sun energy. I want to have flowers, the birds, everything. Yes. I love that. Like, yes. again, it's for my soul. Mm -hmm. So I really love to do this stuff for me mm -hmm. so I feel good. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the actual design, it's just like popping my head like this. Right. So. I don't really prepare anything, mm -hmm. to be honest. I'm just like looking for some references. Okay. So I have idea, okay, like if it's some particular designs, I do lots of portraits. Mm -hmm. So let's say somebody wants to tattoo like portrait of some particular bird right. or some particular animal. Of course, right. I have to look for the references. Exactly. But then on the body, I already see like how roughly it's going mm -hmm. to look mm -hmm. like. But again, it's it's so, I would say, fluid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, like it's so fluid that I cannot really commit to it until I see you. For sure. Because when I see my client, I, I can see colors. Mm -hmm. So I think this is that kind of extra, yeah. what helps to my work. So let's say I see you, I know exactly what colors I'm going mm -hmm. to use because it's your colors. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it's aura or what is it, but I see colors. Right. Every and the client. preparation you've done in mm -hmm. the beginning and then when you see the clients, kind of that's when the bridge is formed. Yes, but it's literally when it comes to tattooing, it's I just look for the references, okay. a few pictures. Right. That's all what I need and nothing else. Right. I don't prepare more. Yeah. And then I see my client, I pick up on the colors straight away. I will literally customize tattoo for you. Mm -hmm. Based on the colors I see, sure. based on your personality, I will know, okay, how extravagant I can go. Mm -hmm. I can see if you are more conservative, mm -hmm. you know. I can see all of this. I pick up on it straight away. Sure. So when I make the tattoo for you, mm -hmm. it will be literally like you get custom tailored suit. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how it's going to be. Love it. You know, it has to be suitable with your with your body, yes. with your personality. Yes. This is what it is. For sure. So like I said, not too much preparation. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like spontaneous how it happened, mm -hmm. but it's very like very on point. Okay. You know? Mm -hmm. How you can even draw it? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And f uh, secondly, I would get bored. Mm -hmm. So if I have to draw something and then I have to make stencil again and then I have to tattoo it again. Right. I already did three times and yeah. like, I'm done. And like, now, <laughs> now I don't even want to do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, like I'm over it already. I get it, I get it. That's why I'm with uh -huh. cooking. Anytime I, I cook for people, I just, I'm not going to eat it because I've spent hours being around it and now mm -hmm. um, I'm over it. <laughs> so um, I can definitely understand that. Do you have a favorite piece that you've done? Many. Yeah. I have so many favorite pieces, mm -hmm. literally, yes. Oh, of course, some of them are like, uh, I would say, like statements completely. Mm. You know the, the red elephant? Yes. That one is viral. Yes. Then I have, uh, this is the first one actually I was thinking of because I know it was like, I want probably with every first place is with yeah. that piece. And yeah. it was so small, it was just like for fun, you know. Yeah. But definitely because it was kind of a uh, piece mm -hmm. when everybody knew all around mm -hmm. the world, you know. Mm -hmm. It was literally like a statement. For sure. I have many though. For I can. Sure. I can just sit here till tomorrow and name them <laughs> for different reasons, you yeah. know. Sometimes it's literally like the ideas, like or what I put into it and mm -hmm. how it sits on the body. Mm -hmm. Somebody has just really amazing skin, so the 
color just pop. Yeah. Sometimes when I feel with that particular piece, I kind of like push another, like I just went to the whole different level. Exactly. I love those A pieces. A new realm. Because yes. I always knew. Exactly. Like yes. you always know when you, when you are like discover that new realm. <laughs> I just you know? upgraded. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, I don't know how it happened, but like I said, it's just, yeah. with me it's very like spontaneous when mm -hmm. I do. I don't like to prepare too much, you know? Yeah. So I love that. This is like my favorite pieces. And you're, you're representing for, for ladies. For everybody. <laughs> yeah, for definitely, definitely for everybody. And women, of course, it's for everybody. It's yes. the younger generation of an mm -hmm. artist. They, they definitely will be taken more seriously for sure they can charge more money mm -hmm. they're not going to be considered as uh you know just like whatever right like when you say you are tattoo artist like you will be definitely ta be taken more serious respected. Mm -hmm. yeah or respected exactly mm -hmm. in that sense you know for sure yeah for so sure. that was that was beautiful yeah and of course i'm like i know i'm girl but i'm breaking like all different sorts of berries when sure. it comes to that you know for sure not just this like a like when you think about it i'm like minority i'm a gay yeah you know then Yes, I'm a girl, mm -hmm. literally in, in this like a men's world or mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. but it's always like that. So of course I'm proud sure. of that. And I'm happy, like, you know, because for me there is no differences whether it's girl, yeah. whether it's boy, or who is this, who is that. Like, yeah. for me it doesn't matter. For sure, you know? for sure. No, I, I definitely wanted to mention that because I feel like that's one of the reasons um, that you've been an inspiration to me. Uh, what you know, I'm, you? I'm also queer, mm -hmm. I'm black, mm -hmm. female, you know, so it's like you said, minorities on top of minorities. Mm -hmm. um, and um, that often means that the odds are against us in, in yes, so many ways. Yes, but it's perfect. You know mm -hmm. what? It's Some... perfect because then it gives you even more drive. Yeah. If somebody says no, no, yeah. it's like, it's yeah. really no. You can say 10 times no. And for me, it's 11 times. Watch like, yes, this. Like, like, watch this. this. Exactly. <laughs> so you, you taking that energy. I love it. I love yeah. haters. Like mm -hmm. write me on Instagram, yes. whatever you want. I like that because I can transfer that energy into, mm -hmm. into positive and into my actually benefit. For sure. I don't mind it at all, mm -hmm. you know? Or when, when something is challenging like this, sometimes can be frustrated, of course. Right. But it depends how you look at it. Mm -hmm. So I always look at it or what I'm taking it from it is like, thank you for giving me energy and I'm going to transfer it now yes. and, and watch into me. something positive. Uh -huh. Just watch me, you know? Love like it. you don't need to talk, just show them. Yes. You know? <laughs> like that's all. Super powerful. <laughs> So um, Ivana has chosen that we're going to do this or that. Um, it, for those of you who um, have not watched before or are unfamiliar with the game, basically I'm going to give Ivana two options of this or that, um, and she's going to pick one. Um, she, You have the option if you'd like. Um, mm -hmm. She can explain herself, or you can just leave it up to the viewer's imagination. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... Studio or tattoo shop? Studio. Color or black and gray? Color. Obviously, hello. Funky <laughs> color. <laughs> Funky color. <laughs> uh, baths or showers? I like both, to be honest. Okay. You know, on everyday life, shower is fine. It's just mm -hmm. super quick, you know. Mm -hmm. But I do love baths also. Mm -hmm. Mostly, I, I really enjoy baths when I like travel and I'm in some like a five star for luxury sure. spa. For sure. Taking bath for hours. Yes. <laughs> champagne and everything. Yes, yes. <laughs> Gotta have the champagne. Um, Tattoo or outside? Outside. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very, uh, like I told, mentioned before, I love nature, so right. I always want to be outside. Yeah. Connected with mm -hmm. God and the world. Yes, and I need yes. to breathe and I just love it. I love to love be outside. It. Yeah, love to hear it. Um, Stencil or freehand? Stencil. Mm -hmm. I do also lots of freehand, but stencil I need uh, because of the portrait, because of the proportions. Mm. Proportions. Stencil so style. I do love stencil, yes. Mm -hmm. Tattoo artist or tattooist? Tattoo artist. Mm. <laughs> it's just for me a little bit uh, different level. Nothing's wrong with both mm -hmm. of them. By the way, it's just my preference, yeah. you know. Because somebody is, you know, just the difference between that is somebody knows to do like super clean, beautiful tattoos, even if mm -hmm. it's a reproduction of something, mm -hmm. but super clean, lettering, symbolism or whatever, mm -hmm. it's amazing, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But what I like about the difference between the tattoo artists is because it's really like a piece of art, mm -hmm. you know? It's just different. Juice or water? Water. Large scale or micro tattoos? Large scale. Mm -hmm. 
Dogs or cats? Dogs. <laughs> Do you have pets? No. I'm a dog I person too. Yeah. <laughs> I love I dogs. I love dogs. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, a phone call or text message? I think I like both. Mm -hmm. It depends what it is, you know, if it's mm -hmm. some sort of serious conversation or something, of course, I prefer phone call. Okay. But if it's just like whatever, every day, then text is fine. Mm -hmm. So I would say both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When, you are, when you are flirting in the new relationship, like mm -hmm. when we were, then the text was definitely hot. Definitely. Like hotter, you know? Definitely. Yes, because then you can just go all about it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it kind of... You're making right? it... And it's, it's easier like, for you okay, to say you both. You can get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like waiting for the response. <laughs> and then when they say the response and it like agrees with yours, you're like, yes, I got it. One step closer. High tech or low tech? High tech. I cannot wait, like, even if I imagine 20 years from now, mm -hmm. I want to be like in the futuristic movie. I love that, really. I, I, I'm thrilled that I hope in this lifetime I can go to the yeah. moon or somewhere. Like, I'm thrilled I would go. For sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that fascinates me, actually, this kind of thing. Are you moving to Mars when, when they finally uh, figure that this out? This hotel on, on the moon, exactly. everything, you know? That'd be so cool. No, I, so I love cool. high-tech, of yeah. course. Yeah. I don't understand it, but I love it. Mm -hmm. It was very interesting. It's entertaining as well, mm -hmm. I, think, I think. Makes things easier also, for sure. Know? Mag or liner? Mag. Mm -hmm. Not 14 tight round. <laughs> no, anyway. 17, 15 is my, that's like my two favorites. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like it because you know the style I'm do, it's kind of like I'm just dragging the mm -hmm. mag, so I love that it's a, it's a di different effect. For sure. You know, for sure. I love that it's like a, it looks like a painting. Mm -hmm. Online shopping or shopping in a store? Both. So, so <laughs> let, let's say if I'm shopping in Italy, yeah. I want to be outside, of right. course. I want to do all of this shopping to mm -hmm. go the actual stores and have this beautiful experience. For sure. But online shopping is good too, let's say, if I'm not traveling too much, mm -hmm. because I, I usually buy my clothes from Europe a lot, mm -hmm. so then I do my online shopping. Love it. Mm -hmm. All righty. Um, Would you rather be the passenger or the driver? Driver. Mm -hmm. I like to take control of things for myself. Yeah. <laughs> Big party or small gathering? Small gatherings, but it also depends what it is. You know, like if mm -hmm. it, if you're talking about big party, it's like something really amazing. Like, mm -hmm. you know, there is a people mm -hmm. or some like a high profile people you want to meet or something like you kind of like do something together. Then I love big parties, obviously. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, small gatherings. Yeah, depends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Money or free time? both mm -hmm. if my free time is worth lots of money and the, mm -hmm. i get the money then i'm fine you know like mm -hmm. i love both literally mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so because money basically is the energy it gives me freedom to do stuff i love mm -hmm. so then i can have enough free time for sure but everything in perfect balance i must say yes. you know i used to work a lot when i was younger mm -hmm. but money wasn't my motivation my motivation was that i wanted to create the best tattoos right that was my motivation for sure so I almost didn't have any free time. I was just tattooing so much. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of made decision. I'm like, okay, I cannot do to myself because I also have to take care of yeah, my health. Definitely. And the way I feel. Mm -hmm. So now I have perfect balance. For sure. You know, both is very important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. <laughs> awesome. Well, I, I, think, I think that closes it out. Um, I really appreciate you making yourself available for this. I think thank you. This thank is, you for having me. Of course. Uh, thank you for agreeing to come and waiting for us to be